Trish. Well spotted, Alex. Nice. That one as well, yeah. Uh, this is a whole different size from the one we saw earlier on the drive. It's spotting there, Alex. It looked like a stick for a while. This buffer was literally just moving along the road. It's turning slightly now. But a very, very big one. Nice and healthy, nice and fat. And obviously, this little bit of rain that we had now and this bit of strange weather is what's getting more reptiles active. I've seen a few other lizard tracks as well and we looked at a monitor lizard track earlier on. This is our second puff at it tonight, this afternoon. Here you can see that rectilinear movement if I remember it correctly. It's using those Ribs basically to walk and go into the grass there. Awesome. A good few days for you, Alex. Yeah. Black Mamba the other day, two puff adders tonight. What other snake would you like to see? Twig snake. Twig snake? Yeah. Ish. That's a tricky one. Snake Alex is talking about there, a twig snake or a vine snake. It's a little bit similar to a Grimslung in some ways, a very thin snake, and they live, as you can guess from the names, they live up in trees most of the time. The way to spot them is if you have, uh, I've had a couple of trackers along the way that can spot them sometimes. You have to notice that a branch looks a bit thicker than it should be relative to where it is in the tree and then that's how you find them. Yeah. 